Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the start menu in Windows 11, in its current shape and form, has been met with quite a lot of negative feedback and debate because Microsoft stripped a lot of the customization options out of the start menu, moving from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And currently we have our pin section and our recommended section. And I've always mentioned on the channel that um, I think it would be a good move if Microsoft gave us an option to remove this recommended section. Now it looks like Microsoft may be moving in that direction. And it seems that Microsoft is working on quite a major overall to the start menu on Windows 11 that merges the pinned and recommended areas with the apps list, bringing it all into one so-called combined interface. Now this was spotted as a hidden feature in this week's latest dev and beta channel builds um, by Phantom of Earth over on X once again. And if we head over to a little video clip provided by Phantom of Earth, yeah, we can see this all in action. So if I just play that, we can see that this new layout merges, as mentioned, the pinned and recommended areas with the apps list. So we can see that's all on one page now. And we can also see that the start menu is a, lo a lot wider than it currently is, obviously to make room for all of this. And it's all, as mentioned, in one combined user interface. So being wider will allow you to pin more apps to the actual start menu, considering now we don't have two pages like we currently have. We only have one uh, in this overall of the start menu. And if we carry on playing, and here we can see that the apps list is below pinned, the all apps list, where recommended used to be. So Microsoft will have an option to turn finally turn off the recommended section, which I'm very happy to see. That's one of my biggest annoyances with the start menu is not being able to turn off the recommended section. And if we carry on playing, we can see a couple of other options. You've got name grid for your all apps. You've got category. And this is interesting, this category, because I have posted on this previously, and this is something which looks kind of very similar to live tiles and combining live tiles and folders on the start menu. And we can see we've got productivity, utilities and tools, other creativity and games. And I think this is nice. I think Microsoft, to some degree or the other, is starting to listen to user feedback regarding the start menu and is packing a lot of customization into the start menu with this a feature that's been spotted in those latest insider builds. And here we can see the updated start menu settings. And apparently, according to Phantom of Earth, turning off show recently added apps will hide the recommended section. So we are going to have a couple of customization options um, with this new start menu. And there we can see, if you toggle that on, the recommended section is back. Let me just go back there a little bit so we can just check that out. There we go. So when you toggle on show recently added apps, recommended is back. So a lot going on. It looks quite um, packed. It looks quite almost cluttered. But I think if you customize it to your own personal choice and preference, you would really be able to thin this whole start menu out. And what I'm going to do is let's just adjust the playback speed to normal. And I'm going to play this from the beginning just to give you guys an overview once again because I have been talking quite a bit. Show all, show less, all apps list, name grid, category, 
There's your category views with your different um, folders or categories. Show recently added apps. Turns on and off the recommended. There we go. There's your recommended. So that's been spotted as a hidden feature uh, in those latest insider builds. And hidden features are code that Microsoft is working on internally. And if you want to enable it in the Dev and Beta channel builds for this week, you have to use the third-party app Valve tool. So that's going to be interesting to see if Microsoft actually brings that to the stable because it's a hidden feature, so it's um, still in its very early days of uh, testing and hasn't even rolled out officially for testing. So as mentioned, it seems that Microsoft is trying to s solve at least some of the issues that users have been complaining about with the current Windows 11 start menu, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. And merging the apps list with the pinned um, area, I think is an attempt to obviously lure Windows 10 users over to Windows 11 with that upcoming end of support for Windows 10 later this year. And as you may know, Windows 10 has a start menu that can show both pins and the apps list at the same time. So I think Microsoft is trying to get Windows 10 users over onto Windows 11. And I'll keep my eye on this. And if I get any more info, I'll post and let you know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.